I wanted to see if I could find the resonating frequency of a balloon because why not? Uh, but also I thought it might look interesting and it does, it looks really cool in the camera. What you're seeing here is sort of slow motion footage. I don't have a slow-mo camera, but I can use the stroboscopic effect to achieve slow motion footage. I'm not gonna explain how that's done in this video because I explain it at the end of a previous video. Uh, I've got a demonstration of gravitational waves that uses the stroboscopic effect. Link in the card and in the description there. Just to explain what's happening, I've got a vibration generator and I can drive that at any frequency I like. I've attached that to the bottom of the balloon. The top of the balloon is fixed. So basically I'm poking the bottom of the balloon at different frequencies and eventually I can find the resonating frequency by looking at the amplitude of the wobble of the balloon. When the amplitude goes up, I know I've got one of the resonating frequencies of the balloon and that's when it looks the best. I'm not gonna say much more about resonance because I explained that in a previous video as well. Link in the card and the description. This is what it looks like in real life without the slow-mo. And you can see the, the nodes of vibration in the middle where the balloon isn't moving. It's really nice. The camera's on a tripod in this shot, so it's not moving. And the movement of the balloon almost looks fake, like I've done it in After Effects or something like that. So I'm gonna do some freehand shooting as well, just to give you some parallax and some sense that it, honestly, this is actually what it looks like in the camera. I think I might be getting some rolling shutter artifacts as well. I'm not gonna explain rolling shutter either because I explained that in a previous video about fidget spinners, link also in the card and in the description. This video is just basically me linking to previous videos. But um, if you think you might be having uh, rolling shutter artifacts, one thing you can do is just pull the camera back so that your subject is smaller on the screen and that minimizes rolling shutter effect. So looking at this shot here, yeah, the movement is a bit different. So we're maybe getting some rolling shutter artifacts in the, the close-up shot. I also tried it with a water-filled balloon and you get these brilliant wobbly surface waves. It just looks so cool. Over the years, I've collected all these devices and bits of equipment like the vibration generator. And it's great because it means that I can just have a play and combine things in different ways, see what happens. And I always learn a lot when I do that. You know, I'm a strong believer that the best way to learn a thing is to do the thing yourself. And that doesn't just apply to experiments, it applies to theory as well. Like working through puzzles and problems is the best way to learn. And if you agree, then I can recommend a really good source of online puzzles and problems. It's called brilliant.org. I'm grateful to Brilliant for sponsoring this video, but I also just really like the way the site is laid out, the way they've curated the puzzles and problems, the way they progress. Like, it's not too hard, it's not too easy. If you get stuck, there's little bits of help, and by the end, you feel really smart. And, um, there's loads of subjects to choose from, so you just pick the thing that you fancy. Check it out for free. Go to brilliant.org forward slash Steve Mould. The link's also in the description. And as an added bonus, the first 76 people to use that link will get 20% off annual premium membership should they choose to upgrade. It's a very specific number, that, isn't it? 76. I wonder if there's a pattern there. Maybe you could try and find the pattern. Anyway, there you go. Uh, balloon resonance. And there was a little bit of rolling shutter in there as well. And a little bit of stroboscopic effect. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit subscribe. And I'll see you next time.